Hey guys, Aviator James, and today we are doing quite an interesting flight, and um, one that I've definitely had the recommendation of from a fellow subscriber named Admiral Versier. Shout out to him, and also to Blue Teacup. Shout out to you as well, and of course, Quality Steve. Well then, what we're doing today is a Concorde from London Heathrow to Gibraltar. Now, of course, I won't show what the flag, so I'll probably take too long. So, what I'm doing is I'll show you the cold and dark startup, and you can start up a quick way or a long way. I'll show both, and then we'll do a nice little flight and land in Gibraltar. Let's see if that works. Well, at London Heathrow, let's just select a random gate. That's two seven right. This is zero nine right. So. Start on ramp 519, we are going from London Heathrow to Gibraltar, and I'm not sure what is happening there. It's an odd thing, but we'll excuse that for the moment. Where on earth is Gibraltar? There it is. And on runway 09. That is... That is all looking fine. And half eleven, that will do. And let's enter. Now, if I do leave this in the video, then we are loading in to the glorious loading screen. And welcome. Now, what I'm going to show you first, as we're in the glorious Concord cockpit, as you can see, it's back set up for a passenger flight from London Heathrow to Gibraltar, of course. Now to demonstrate quickly, there are two ways to start up the Concorde. You can do it the quick way, which I'll show you in a minute, or you can do a checklist, which I will show after. Now, just a quick way, it's quite simple. Got over here the control panel, turn on the external power, which is that switch there, and you've got these two little switches here, which are the two batteries. You want to turn them both on, and yes, you see this little um, flick switch here, it says EPU, the, only the right hand one, not the left hand one. You flick that from off to on, as I've done there. And finally, uh, two more steps actually, set all four starters to on. Make sure I say set starter off because they tell you what you do if you press them. And finally, these four flaps up here, the fuel control, you want to open all four of them. And you can start to hear the engines roar. And that is the quick start up, but I'm not going to cheat in this one, so I'm going to use the checklist just to give you an idea of what it's like to, of course, use the checklist. I'll just uh, switch off the engines and we'll get to that. Let's completely reverse this operation. And we will get to it. Where's the EPU? There it is. And there we go. So we'll start the checklist now. A lot of these you can just skip because the landing gear is down, I can assure. Parking brake is on. Let's just check all of this. The blue inverters are on, and I presume the green ones are too. Yes, they are. The anti-stall systems. Let's check those. They are off, so you want to turn one and two on. Mind you, I'm not always used to check this, so I apologise, I'm a bit rusty. If you've seen anything I've done wrong, just please it down in the comments. Q&H altimeters, they look all fine. Nav radios. Yeah, that's set to... That's set to there. And the transponder is set as well. Set transponder to on. Ground hydraulics, I'll set those to yellow, yellow, if they're not already. Uh, 
as follows. Now we ground hydraulics, we'll make sure those are both off. Both pumps are off. There you go. They're off. Fuel heaters. They are set to auto. Now, of course, if you just don't hear my voice, you can just have a watch on silent, but why do that when you can get an amazing walkthrough from me? <laughs> well, anyways, the engine recirculation, make sure that is shut. Just there, and all four of them are shut. The second gear doors, you want to set to auto. So once we go, doors come shut, so set all four of these to auto. Shows. Now I'm currently doing this on Xbox, so it's probably easier on PC, and I presume it's a lot similar. Probably easier because you can get better camera angle view, and maybe I can't get that. And I'm just probably an idiot. No, leave that there for now. Now seatbelt signs. Ah, oh, set those on, and that as well. Get the air traffic control up here. Back down a bit. There we go. Now let's get the ground services sorted. Stuff will tune ground. And we'll get the jetway connection. The bags for the catering service to actually get the people on. We'll unlock the cabin door as well so they can actually get on the aircraft. There we go, jetway being connected. And do the same for the baggage and the catering service, just to add a bit of realism to it, as this is a passenger flight by the greatest pilot in the world, James Wilkinson. And sadly, we have not, we've not got um, the world's best first officer right now, Admiral Versio, but can promise he'll be joining us in a future video. So that is a promise. Now, the catering service as well. And we'll let them all board the plane, and we'll continue with the checklist. Turn on the beacon lights. While we're at it, I'll turn on the nav lights as well. Throttles are already set to idle, which means they are just set to set to zero, they're not touched. And the engine feed pumps we want set on these little tiny things here. And they are all on right now. Now we'll get to the engine start. Where we'll now start the engines using these little four knobs here, which I showed you earlier. And it's quite similar to um, how I showed you in the quick starter, to be honest. And now we do not... Ah, the EBU switch is already off, so we don't need that. Flight control's full and free, so just make, make sure they work. Which they do. And um, as he's in trims, trim is all set and working. That is correct. And uh, don't need to don't need to bother with this. I think it's all right for now. I know definitely real professionalism here, but we want to get the job done. And now we open the fuel control flaps. So they're on. And of course, we want to switch the uh, batteries on as well, so that we can actually get started up. And after that, we'll switch on the EPU and the external power. So that is looking alright. As you can hear, the engines are roaring once more. Which means they're ready for action. I'll set the autopilot a a IAS. Sorry. <laughs> it's been a long day. 250 knots, so 256, and set, set this to 10,000 feet, the uh, autopilot altitude setting. Then turn on the acquired and the acquired acquired. We'll do that once we're in the air. The DI systems, we will not need the DI systems. I think now we are good. Passengers, so we'll lock the cabin doors and um, we'll turn on the taxi lights. As shown, and we'll 
discount the jet way, the baggage is catering service. And we'll look and we'll continue these options once we are on the runway. So just begin a nice little taxi. Just wait for the discount the aircraft the jet wave from the aircraft. We are now done with the baggage service, so we'll put that away. And the catering service. Now we shall request for the pushback. Right, we will push back. Oh, sh and yes, we got to remove the parking brake, of course, for push back. Otherwise, the plane will not move. So we'll wait for that to happen. And in the meantime, we'll set flaps to set flaps to um. About halfway, 66.67% as shown in the cockpit. And we'll wait for pushback to occur. They do love to take their time, don't they? Ah, oh, well, here we go. Now, if you're wondering about any more content we have, football gaming content is coming back. We are going to have a lot more FIFA. And a few more other videos that I have planned, as you saw with the um, new Labour, new danger video. I th I'm getting I I getting involved in worldwide events, of course. Well, it's nice to be involved in that. And for any other stuff, if you want to request a video, I will upload it. Of course, I'm always open to suggestions. We push back to the left, and we'll begin taxi to runway zero nine right. Hope we don't go too far, otherwise I'll have to stop the push back and turn manually. Dear, easy does it, easy does it. Not a hundred percent professionalism, but we get the job done at the end of the day. I think that's alright. I'll do for now. I'll get the engines revved up. And while we're at it, we'll turn the afterburners on ready for takeoff. So, afterburners 1, 2, 3, and 4, ready for takeoff. Set to about decent 20% throttle, and we go. Turn the brakes on, turn the brakes off. And we'll make a nice start to runway 09 right. Just let you take in and enjoy the nice taxi. to the runway now and take off shall begin momentarily to do a few more things while we're holding short the runway 27 right right we'll press take off Get a few more things. Tax lights off. Let's get our landing lights on. Nav lights already on. Reheats are engaged. And we can take off from there. So, what we should do? Let's have a look for oncoming traffic. I think we'll be good. So, we'll go now. And we have takeoff. So, always love a bit of, always love a bit of takeoff. Why we're here. What on earth? There is a guy on the runway.
Whatever, let's just go for full power. And we're off, ladies and gentlemen. Off to Gibraltar. Just, um, never had this before, but go around this guy. Anyways, V1. Oh, she's rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. And we're off, guys. Easy does it. Going, so let's get throttle on now. Let's get the throttle on, then we'll get the flight director and everything else. There we go. Land mode's on. Turn on the GPS. That's acquired, it's on, and that is all good. Set this accordingly to two one nine four. Do making our turn. Yes, I did hear your last transmission. We're off to Gibraltar. And this is quite a sharp bank, but I assume it knows what it's doing. Hope at least. Anyways, let's get everything else going on. Let's get the second gear doors open. Oh my days, this is a sharp bank. Get that sorted. Any all the second gear doors are now open. Let's get the nose up, which it is. Sure, no more. Let's get to 10,000 feet. Then we'll sort out the rest of it. Okay, what on earth is going on here? fix whatever's going on here. Hoping it finds its way back on track. This is getting a bit annoying. Oh, I think it's. I think it's alright now. Yeah, 
I should be alright now. Sometimes you have these issues uh, with the um, uh, with the Air Concord uh, autopilot. I have these quite often. It's just it's not a very fun autopilot to work with, but at the end of the day, it gets the job done. I'm looking at you, Autoland. I'm looking at you. Anyways, it seems to have corrected itself now, and we are looking for a nice tasty flight to Gibraltar. So we'll get up to 10,000 feet. I'll set our cruising altitude for a nice hefty 60,000 feet. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll go 60,000 feet. Why not? The main, out the main one's for 5,000 feet, but we do things different here. We go for extreme. So, 6,000 feet it is. Let's test the limits of this bird. So guys, we shall see you when we're at uh, 20,000 feet. When we shall begin the afterburners. Hey guys, we are back and we are now at 20,000 feet, so let's begin with the fuel transfer and then we shall begin with the climb to 6,000 feet. Do this quickly make sure that our are at 5,000 kilograms, it's 9, Sure that valve is on. Oh, don't know what's happened with the air traffic control. Sort that in a minute, I suppose. Actually, sort out the climb really quick. Disconnect the auto throttle. Let's crank the afterburners. Now we've got that ready. Shell. Do where is it? Max climb on. Then we'll try to climb to about Mach two. Check tanks ten are, are open. They are now. there. Now we can come on to the climb and we had already started it. Altitude requires our max power is on and we are achieving Mach 1.7 or Mach 2. And we can just wait for that to happen so guys we'll see you once we're at cruising altitude.
And there we go. We are beginning our ascent now, and we will see you once we have made our descent. We will put the nose or the droop snoop down, as it's uh, more professionally known. belt signs are on, so ladies and gentlemen, please turn to your seats. We are going to be landing shortly in Gibraltar. Thank you, and we hope you've had a nice flight on board. Arbor Show is Concord today. Registration, Bravo. Oh gosh, what's actually Golf Bravo Oscar Alpha Charlie. Golf Bravo Oscar Alpha Charlie. Which I believe retired in 2003, but here we go, flying it 20 years later. Don't ask questions. Okay guys, now we are on on final approach nearly. We are doing our descent right now, so let's begin the check our final checklist. Uh, fuel transfer will set to forward. There we go. Get the uh, pumps shut, and they're all shut. Inner valves are open, and engine rating mode is already set to climb. And we're looking alright for now. We are looking fine to descend. We have already, we have already sorted these out over the course of our descent. So, because I may have ruined the approach the first time, I shall manual land this. And, um, lucky us, we have no HF control, because it turned off for some random reason. But don't worry about that, because you have an absolutely skilled pilot, and he will land this for you. So don't you worry about that. Trust me. It's going to be fine. In all honesty, it will be fine. Or will it? Oh, of course it'll be fine. I say I'll be fine, and the airport's right there. Not a problem, just circle back around. Not a problem at all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please prepare for landing. Okay, I'll put the gear down. Might be at 300 knots, but hey, it'll be fine.
coming in for final approach now to Gibraltar. If we can slow down that is because we are not landing at this speed. Actually this will be fine. Get the uh, brake set. Gear is down. All is looking good. I highly doubt this will be a good landing considering we're at 250 knots. So we'll just try our best. Not good by any means. Let's just try and stop. One girl, you can do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oosh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at Gibraltar. And we have not overrun. There you go. UK Patriot 11 or Admiral Versio, yeah, whatever you prefer to be called. We have made it to Gibraltar. Somehow. Alive. Anyways, uh, let's get this sorted. That radio now, if we can just ignore that for now. Let's turn the afterburners off. Let's go to the after landing checklist. The nose to be fully up. Done that. Let's turn the auto ignition off. Uh, it's on auto. I believe that's correct. Second gear doors we can now shut. They are already shut, which is good. Now the ESP switch we can turn off, which we'll do at the gate because I've gone ahead. So let's try and find our gate. Actually, you know what? While we're on the ground, let's try and fix this issue with the um, radio. So switch the aircraft, then on again. Touch the thing. Nope. What will? You know what, I think we can do without. Let's just taxi to gate. Well, anyway, guys, this is my first video on this sort of thing, so do not expect it to be good. And there are more coming out in the future, so good with that.